Hi, uh, if you're like me, you must already have an espresso machine at home. And chances are you're not getting the fully automated or very expensive fancy machine. So those are definitely can get you a very consistent espresso. But the problem is that takes your hobby away, right? So that's my wife is saying, I'm getting this as a the job. <laughs> but I really enjoy the process. So that's why I got this Gaja Classic Pro uh, six, seven months ago and uh, trying to see uh, what kind of performance I, I can get out of it. And did a lot of research and I find that, you know, I, I can do the temperature, uh, the PID control and uh, other profiling even if I want to do, to do the mods. But those mods usually have to break into the machine and you have to cut wires and uh, uh, hook things in between and maybe break out even the, uh, the case itself. Uh, you, you do get all the benefit uh, of the fully automated machine, but uh, you know, that's a lot of mods and I'm afraid it's going to void my warranty. Uh, and then I look at what other people are saying is the surfing, temperature surfing or whatever the, the, the techniques. Uh, those are very, very good. And I find that, oh, I can get really good uh, espresso and uh, even, even a frothing machine, a frothing milk out of this and do very good latte art. But the, the, the problem is I cannot do it consistently because, uh, you know, with the skills uh, in, the, in, the, in the surfing, temperature surfing, uh, you are, first of all, you are not getting uh, that consistency either. And also you are not knowing exactly what temperature it is, right? So you, very difficult to get the consistency. So I find, you know, I can make uh, some kind of microcontroller to uh, monitor uh, constantly what temperature uh, my boiler is and then also get some other features like uh, alarms you know lights and stuff like that uh, and also the brewing time is important so I want to add that in that's what I did to my system uh, and I've used it for three four months and uh, it comes out really great and I can very consistently come up with very good coffee and uh, uh, I'm going to show you how it works. When the espresso machine warmed up, it stays between 100 and 115 degrees, but you don't know exactly where it will be, right? So there's a ritual you can go through to do the temperature surfing. But for me, I don't have to do that guesswork. I can just flick on the steam mode switch and then wait for the temperature reaching to the point I want to start to do the brewing. And I just flick the switch at that time. And turn it off when the timer tells me it's about 20 to 25 seconds. The trick of doing a good frothing is during the whole steaming time, uh, the heater is never turned off. So, uh, and also you want it to be uh, at as high as the temperature as it can be. So what the trick is when you start doing that, uh, the heater is going to the high enough temperature, but not enough to actually shut it down. I looked at the original uh, thermostat is at uh, set it at 100, 45 degrees. So my aiming is somewhere between 140 and 142 degrees when I start to do the steam. If you can do that, then the heater is going to be on the whole time while you're steaming. A good froth milk is everything for pulling a good latte on. With this mod, I also added LED light so you can see the reservoir water level easier and also added a warning if you leave it in the steaming mode for too long. This is the microcontroller I used. I also posted the, the source code to the GitHub and I have a link at the bottom. 
you can build it if you want and uh, also i'm thinking about see if there are uh, enough people interested in to getting a kit i can also make that one so make a pcb or whatever and then uh, be easier for people to put together all right uh hope you enjoy this and leave me some feedback thank you bye